Hello and welcome to our Tuesday update. I'm Vicky, the newest member of the clergy team here at St Michael's. I'm sure that people said it would be quieter in August, but I'm not sure that's the case. Maybe it's because I'm new in this role and there's a lot for me to get my head around, but it doesn't feel as though things, at least in church, are not happening. But for some of us, there's quite a lot of things not happening. I'm currently coming to terms with not having a family holiday this year and not spending long sunny days on the beach with my boys. Many of us are not able to see family members still, although that's now easing for some. Some of our young people are getting results this week and next for exams that they didn't take and that all feels a bit odd. It all feels as though quite a bit has been taken away from us, different things for each of us this year and it's hard. There's a song that we sing sometimes in church that says, the sun comes up, it's a new day dawning. It's time to sing your song again. Whatever may pass and whatever lies before me, let me be singing when the evening comes. Whatever may pass and whatever lies before me. That means whatever our circumstances and whatever we haven't got this summer. We can't always choose our circumstances, but we can choose our attitude. We can choose to worship. We can choose to be involved as much as possible in what God is doing in our church and in our community. Now there's a few ways to do that uh, and this is a far from exclusive list. One is to join in with online worship opportunities, Monday and Friday mornings at half past nine, Sundays at half past ten in the morning and alternate Sundays at half past six in the evening. Another is to share stories of what God has been doing for or with or through you, maybe over a socially distanced coffee or walk, or maybe by sharing a 10 second testimony. 10 second testimonies are really easy to do. Just record a short clip on your phone and then go onto the website and there'll be clear instructions as to how to upload it. If you get stuck, please do ask. But it's so worth it because it's always so encouraging to hear stories of God at work. It helps us all keep our eyes open for him, working in our own lives too. So let's join in worship when we can and let's tell each other our stories too. Another opportunity to join in is through our wellbeing evenings. And these are a series of Wednesday evenings based on talks by Patrick Reagan from Kintsugi Hope. We've had one of these so far and there's another tomorrow evening when we'll be thinking about anger. Now this isn't just our anger, but maybe those we live or work with are experiencing anger at the moment because of the current situation. And this evening might help us deal with some of that. And if you'd like to come, even if you came last week, you do need to sign up. We need to sign up each week uh, and we can do that too via the website. So take heart. We may have lost some things this year and that's hard, but God is still at work. It may just look different from the way that we expect. Enjoy the rest of your day and hope to see you at morning prayer tomorrow morning. Bye.